you remember, honorable audience, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before beginning, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Salima Namsi, a PhD student at University of Science and Technology, Hawari Boumedien, USTHB, in Algiers, Algeria. And my work today is entitled Role of Flywheel Energy Storage System in Microgrid. For that, we will adopt the following outline. Firstly, we, we, we start with a general introduction. Secondly, we expose flywheel energy storage system symbolized by FAST and followed by its constitution and its working principle. After that, the importance of FAST in microgrid is shown. Then, mathematical model and simulation results of FAST and their MATLAB simulink are given. Finally, we conclude our investigation. The gradual depletion of fossil fuels such as oil and their pollution and the danger of nuclear waste in addition to the increase of electricity, electricity consumption which is due to population growth and spread of wars worldwide push decision makers to seek other sources of energy. The Earth receives a large amount of energy. Why not use it to develop other types called renewable energy whose source is unlimited and non-polluting? Among all renewable energy systems, we find solar PV energy and by means of PV module, produce a DC electricity generation. However, in case of absence of the sun, no production is, con is no noticed. Another type of renewable energy system, which is wind energy, and by means of wind turbine and electrical machine, produce an AC electricity generation. However, in, in case of absence of the wind, no production is noticed too. What is the solution then? Since renewable energy are intermittent in nature, an aggregation of distributed units based mainly on renewable energy, such as wind, photovoltaic, solar, CSP, loads, and storage systems are proposed as a solution and known as microgrid, in which producer can be consumed Consumer, con, co, sorry, consumer, and consumer can be producer, reduce power losses, and the flow and the flow of power is controlled. In this context, we will focus on storage part. Energy storage systems can be divided into two categories. The first one, which is called long term, as batteries which allow storage, storing electricity energy and their chemical form for many days. And the second category is short term as flywheel energy storage system, in which allow storing electricity energy and their kinetic form for hours, depending on the used technology. And the last one, I mean flywheel type will be the focus of our discussion. Several advantages of flywheel energy storage system first exist, such as simple maintenance according to its constitution, it is clean, and unlike batteries, it is independent lifetime duration of storage retrieval cycles. The most important advantage is we know exactly the stored in the stored energy level by this technique long lifetime more than 20 years the main component part of the studied storage system is presented in this slide the flywheel energy storage system is surrounded by safety and vacuum envelope in which the flywheel is coupled to a motor or a generator through a shaft. 
for avoiding friction magnetic bearings are used for control purpose an inverter with a DC bus is provided during storage the energy is converted into mechanical energy through the electrical motor the mechanical energy is stored in the flywheel as kinetic energy of a rotating mass during the discharge of discharge of first the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy through the electrical generator the operating speed is imposed by the power electronic converter which imposes the direction of transfer of energy through the electrical machine in order to show the behavior of this in a microgrid we propose a microgrid depends only on one type of renewable energy which is wind connected to the grid in presence of this as shown in figure 9 if the power delivered by, to the grid is symbolized by, by P reg and the wind profile enables to generate an active power P wind the reference power of flywheel will be in case of the power P reg is superior than P wind it means that we have an energy storage and the asynchronous machine works in motoring operation if the power P reg is less than P wind and the, as the asynchronous machine operates in the generator mode where we have an, an energy delivery The kinetic energy stored in rotating mass is given by the following equation and to determine the reference voltages to be applied to the converter of the asynchronous machine we choose to work with rotor flux oriented control and some mathematical operations given in detail in the article we obtain, we obtain the following system The complete flywheel control scheme is depicted in this figure where a PI controller for flux is used to determine direct current component and another PI controller is used in order to obtain a direct voltage while the quadrator voltage is obtained from a PI controller for quadrator current which in turn its reference is given by torque calculation using the coupling the coupling system we convert direct and quadrator component to abc reference the simulation results results and uh, and their matlab simulating are uh, for a flywheel energy storage system based on asynchronous machine equal to 450 kilo, ki, kilowatts during uh, with an initial initial velocity fixed at 157 radian per, per second the flywheel rotation speed is shown in figure 12 the speed goes from 157 uh, radian, uh, radian per second to 314 radian, uh, radian per second in 30 seconds. This corresponds to storage. Then the speed goes from 314 to 100, 157 radian per second, per second in 30 seconds to restore 450 kilowatts. The power storage system is shown in figure 13. It is required in this simulation to store 450 kilowatts during the first 30 seconds and return 400 50 kilowatts in 30 seconds remaining looking at this figure we see that the reference power is followed 
we also sorry we also know that the reference power is reversed than speed when speed of flywheel reach, uh, reaches a high or low limit therefore we ask the asynchronous machine to provide or consume nominal power of uh, of value equal to 450 kilowatt a positive power corresponds to a power consumed by the machine and the negative power represents a power supplied by the machine figure 14 and 15 show the evolution of the rhetoric flux and the direct current of the asynchronous machine there is a good follow instruction as a second observation that we can draw from these figures depends uh, depends on, on direct current and its relationship with the flux is found from the change in the direct current component which is the image of the flux figure 16 represents stattoric current and voltage if we zoom during the storage the current is in phase with the voltage where the machine acts as a motor in turn the current ahead of phase which uh, with the voltage where the machine works as generator allow it to justify the two modes of operation of the asynchronous machine as conclusion conclusion the flywheel energy storage system is proposed as a solution in our work to store electricity as kinetic form in periods of excess of production of renewable energy sources and to restore it in the case of deficit following the random characteristic of such alternative system. The proposed method for storage is preferable to guarantee the balance between production and consumption in standalone or grid connected systems in real and short period of time. The proposed technique for storage is dedicated to store power of 450 kilowatt in a less area compared to battery storage. As perspective, we propose for future works on FES, instead of using a synchronous machine, we can use synchronous machine instead and compare each storage performance of both. Another proposition on FES instead of using pro pro proportional in uh, integral PI controller we can use other types of controller for example fuzzy logic controller thank you very much for your attention